Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in here, let us pray together this beautiful day that the Lord has made. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on in here, let's pray together this beautiful day that the Lord has made. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Leslie, what's up, cuz? So good to see you. Welcome. Come on in here. Let us pray together this beautiful day the Lord has made. Miss Clara, good morning. Katrina, good morning. Mama Elaine, good morning. So good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Shirley, good morning. So good to see each and every one of you this day. Lisa, good morning. Conti, good morning. Patty, good morning. So good to see each and every one of you this morning. Welcome. Brother Dan, what's up, man? Good to see you, brother. Aunt Susan, Stephanie, good morning. So good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Hey, Ebony. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Latoya, good morning. So good to be with you. So good to see you. Yes, Lord. Hey, Felicia, good morning. So good to see you. Yes, Lord. Hey, Miss Elsie, good morning. Mika, good morning. So good to see you. <coughs> Excuse me. You're bummed in Philly. Philly is doing well. What are you talking about, my brother? <laughs> oh, baseball, I think you're talking about. That's right. Buffy, good morning. So good to see you. Miss Brenda, good morning. So good to see you. Welcome. Hey, Miss Dora, good morning. So good to see you. Hallelujah. Aaron, good morning. Minister Bernadette, good morning. So good to see you. Mr. Al, good morning. So good to see you. Welcome. Praise God, Lisa. I was going to ask about that. I was going to actually send you a message. I'm glad to hear that you, uh, everything went well with your sister. Praise God. Hey, Wanda, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Let's go on ahead and get started. Let us not tarry too long. I want to be respectful and mindful of your time on this Wednesday morning. How y'all doing out there today? I hope y'all are doing <clears throat> well. Please forgive me. This weather has shifted a bit, and it has uh, gotten a little bit chilly here in Atlanta. I know some of my people up north are like, whatever, whatever, but... It's chilly here in Atlanta. Listen, I have a passage of scripture I want to share with you. Remember, this week, I really want us to focus and draw our attention on the favor of God. You know, God has favored us. We are, we are uniquely set apart. We are uniquely blessed by God. God has, has uniquely called us his own. And um, that's part of his favor, his favor. Uh, part of his favor is his grace, his mercy. All of that's part of his favor. And so I want us to... To focus on his favor because oftentimes in the world that we live in, we forget that we're favored people and we live with a mindset where we where we feel like we are um, a, what we call a scarcity mindset where we don't have enough, where we're not enough. We don't measure up. And but God is not called. God has blessed us to be a chosen people and we are favored. Amen. So good morning to those who just jumped in. Hey, uh, Miss Diane, cousin Lisa. So good to to see you all this morning. Listen, I want us to go to the prophetic book of Isaiah. I want to go to the prophetic book of Isaiah. Now, I'm going to read two versions of this, um, only because I, I just like the way uh, Eugene Peterson's version of this, which is called the message version of the Bible. I like the way his reads, but I just want to give you uh, uh, my normal text, my normal translation today first, and then I'm going to come back and hit it again with the message version 
of this same passage of scripture. The scripture is found in uh, the book of the prophetic book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 11. The prophetic book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 11. Isaiah 58, verse 11. Thank you, Leslie. Isaiah 58, verse 11. It reads this way according to the New Living Translation first. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. I like that. That's encouraging, right? That, that, that's encouraging. This is, this is what, what God is promising to the people of Israel at this time, um, as they were, they were you know, in a very, very dire condition. And, and so God says, here, here it is. You, know, you just remain committed to me. Here's what I'm going to do for you. He says, I'm going to guide you continually so you don't ever have to be lost. Even if you find yourself in the wilderness, I'm going to guide you out of that. Right. He says, and I'm going to be give, I'll give you water when you are dry and restore your strength. You will be like a well watered garden, like an ever flowing spring. Meaning that like you, you will always, always have what you need where you need it. That's what he's saying here. That applies to not just the people of Israel in the Bible at this time. It applies to us today. But let me let me let me read it for you a little bit in more plain and applicable language for you and I, the Eugene Peterson version uh, found in the message version of the Bible, it reads this way. It says, I will always, I love this part. This is so good. He says, I will always show you where to go. I'll give you a full life in the emptiest of places. God, that felt good. When I read that, I was like, Ooh, I will give you a full life in the emptiest of places. Firm muscles, strong bones. You'll be like a well-watered garden, a gurgling spring that never runs dry. Can I put it into context what he's telling you and I today and what he was telling the people of Israel? Here's, here's, here's what he's saying. Even when you don't have anything, it will always feel like you have everything. Come on, wake up now. Here it is. He says, even when it even when it seems like you don't have anything, it will always feel like you have everything. He says this. Here's what he's saying. He's trying to he's trying to fix your mind. He's trying to fix your mind like he's trying to get the people of Israel to understand. He says this. When you seem like you don't have enough, mm, it's going to feel like you have more than enough. He's saying that what he's what, what God is saying to them, he's saying the same thing to you. There'll be moments where it's going to be dry, but you're going to you're not going to be thirsty. <laughs> There's going to be moments where you feel like you're lost, but you're going to be on the right path because I'm directing you. And that, beloved, is the favor of God. And I don't know about you, but I've been in that place. Woo! Come on, Lord, speak to me this morning. I've been in that place where I didn't have enough, but I was so content. I felt like I had everything. I, this is real. This is Broderick right now. OK, this is real talk right now. I've been in a place where literally my bank account had a negative balance. This is many years ago. But I felt like I had everything that I needed at that time. I didn't have the money I needed. But I felt that I had everything I needed because here it is. <laughs> this is what God prompt. That's his favor. And by the way, that, that account didn't stay negative more than 24 hours. <laughs> there was just some adjustments that had to be made. The point I'm trying to make is <laughs> there, here it is. There were moments where I didn't have anybody that I felt I, I could talk to about situations or circumstances I was facing. But I never felt alone. <laughs> maybe that maybe some maybe y'all can't testify with me this morning that's okay i'll do it all by myself that's the favor of god have that has that ever listen if that's happened to you before in your life maybe that's you right now where you felt like you had where you well not felt where you did not have anything but you felt like you had everything come on give me some hearts if, that, if, if that's your testimony just put some hearts up there where you felt like you were at your lowest, but you felt the most high you've ever felt before. 
where where you where you didn't have every everything didn't line up, but you felt more accomplished than you ever felt before. I mean, that that's maybe that's just Broderick. I don't know on this Wednesday morning. But when I read this passage, that's that that's what the reminder is. That's the favor of God. You could literally have nothing but feel like you have everything. You could literally have no one but feel like you're but don't feel all alone. You could feel like I mean, it could it could look like there's not enough, but you'll feel like you have more than enough. That's the favor of God, beloved. And if you here it is, here it is. If you have not ever been in that place, I'm praying that you feel that way whenever you find yourself in that place. When you find yourself in the desert, I don't want you to be thirsty. I want you to be quenched by the by, by, by the word of God. I want him to quench your thirst. Are y'all with me this morning? And so that's the favor of God that I want you to feel. And, 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 and embrace and receive on this Wednesday morning. Let us pray and then I'll let you go. Wow, God, I thank you today. <laughs> I thank you for this prophetic reminder, this reminder that comes from the book of Isaiah, a word that you share through this prophet to your people at a time when they were in dire need of your hand. <laughs> your, your promise to them to, through the prophet Isaiah was not just something that you were going to do for them, but it's something that you had already done. And what it required more than anything was not the tangible things you promised, but a mind shift that you had already answered your promise. And so, God, today I'm praying for those of us who gather faithfully. We gather faithfully today to first say thank you. God, we never want to enter this throne of grace. We never want to enter your throne of mercy. We never want to enter this sanctified place without giving gratitude for all that you've done and all that you're doing. God, so we gather today first to say thank you. Thank you, God, for being God all by yourself. Thank you, God, for being our provision. Thank you, God, for being our protector. Thank you for being our peace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for, for being our healer. Thank you for being the light onto our pathway. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being our joy in the midst of sorrow. Thank you for being the water from the well that never runs dry. <laughs> Thank you for being the bread of life that quenches our hunger for our bodies and satisfies the hunger of our soul. We thank you for being God all by yourself. I thank you for your word, for your word is a weapon and a shield. Uh, we read through your book, O oh Lord, and, and, and we don't read these stories as just fictional stories with fictional characters. No, this is a, 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 the real life story and the roadmap for our lives. These are real people who experience the real God, that same God who did for them yesterday is the same God that can do for us today. And so God, we've gathered in this sacred place to say thank you for your word. For we know as seasons come and seasons go, the flowers fade and the, and the grass does wither, but so, so glad to know that the word of God remains forevermore. And God, we can glean from your word today Something that, that blesses our soul, a word that reminds us of how favored we are in your sight. A word that reminds us that your favor goes before us and your favor follows us and your favor is all around us. And we have direct access to your favor by faith. I'm grateful for this word that reminds us today that you are a God that gives us water in dry places, that you are a God that makes us full in empty places. You are a God that gives us a full life, oh God, when we feel like our lives are depleted. Grateful for this word today that reminds us that, that you are a God, that even when things don't add up or measure up, you give us abundantly more than we need for the season we needed, when we need it, and how we need it most. I'm grateful for this word that reminds us because of your great strength and because of your great wisdom and because of your great power, we could have nothing but feel like we have everything. I believe it was Paul who said that in the New Testament. He spoke of contentment 
whether I have plenty or I have little. Woo! And that's, that's, that's the favor you give us. Whether we have more than enough or just enough, that's favor. Whether we don't have enough or, or, or more than enough, that, that's favor. Whether we have a lot of friends or just you, that's favor. So God, we thank you for your favor. The unmerited favor that you pour out upon us. The unmerited favor that we get to receive just by faith, not by behavior. Woo, the unmerited favor that you give freely and you give it abundantly for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. God, the unmerited, unmeasurable whew, favor. We thank you for that favor. Favor that heals us of sicknesses and diseases. Huh. Favor that, that gives us a affirmation after a confirmation, uh, after affirmation, uh, after confirmation. Uh, God, that's what your favor does. It affirms and it confirms. Woo! Your word is true. Thank you, Lord, for the favor that confirms and affirms that you are a God who sits high but comes down low to be with your people, to provide for your people, to protect your people, to lead your people, to follow your people, to guide your people. God, we thank you today for that favor that affirms your word and confirms your word, that affirms your promise and confirms your promise, that word, your favor. Favor, oh God, that provides all of our needs. Favor that gives us more than we need. Favor today that gives us peace that doesn't make sense. Peace that, 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 that we have in the middle of trials. Peace that we have in the midst of suffering. Peace that we have when we receive not so good news. Peace that we have when the world around us is chaotic. That, my beloved, is favor. Thank you for that unmerited favor. That gives us peace that doesn't make sense. <laughs> right now, some of us should be losing our mind because of the possessions that we're losing in real time. But God, we have peace right now that doesn't make sense. <laughs> some of us should be losing our mind because of people who have abandoned us. But we've got peace right now that doesn't make sense. <laughs> some of us should be losing our mind <laughs> because of a doctor's report. <laughs> but we have peace right now. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. Some of us should be losing our mind right now because the job has let us go. But we've got peace right now. That doesn't make sense. Some of us should be sitting somewhere crying in the corner because our hearts have been broken. But God, because of your favor right now, we've got peace. That doesn't make sense. Some of us should be losing our mind because of who's we've lost, oh God, lives that have been lost but right now we have peace to the world that doesn't make sense that's your unmerited fate our math is not mathing right now but we have peace that doesn't make sense ah god i thank you for peace that doesn't make sense because that's what favor is. Favor doesn't make sense to people that are not under your favor. Favor doesn't make sense to people that are not under your grace. Favor doesn't make sense to people that don't have faith in the true and living God. Favor that opens doors that no man can shut and shuts doors that no man can open. Favor that fights my battle before I show up to the battlefield. Favor un merited favor woo, upon those that you love and are called according to your purpose. Favor we don't deserve. Favor that we didn't earn. But God, you give it and you give it plentifully. Thank you, Jesus, for your unmerited and abundant favor. Ah, my God. 
Favor that answers prayers in real time, expeditiously. Favor. Favor that gives us more than enough and gives us leftovers. Favor. Favor, 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 favor. I'm crying out favor over every single soul assembled this Wednesday morning under the sound of my voice. Favor, favor, favor. All over, shower, shower us, Lord, with favor today. Favor, favor, favor. Somebody says, Lord, I need your favor for, for my situation right now. I need favor in the courtroom today, favor. I need favor in the hospital today, favor. I need favor at the funeral home, favor. I need favor for this meeting, favor. I need favor today for an interview, favor. I need favor today for, ooh, somebody, I heard you, Lord. I got to say it how I saw it. Somebody said, I need favor because I'm going on a first date with a stranger this week. Favor, favor, favor. I, woo, I heard it. That's what I heard. Ha. <laughs> Come on, favor Lord for this business plan. Favor God for this for this startup. Favor God for this loan application. Favor, favor, favor. And so, God, whatever your sons or daughters have gathered for, whoo, let the favor of the Lord rest upon them. Let the unmeasurable, unmerited, unearned, and undeserved favor fall upon your sons and daughters that have gathered in this holy temple today. Favor, 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 favor in our health today. Hallelujah. Favor, 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 favor in our thinking today. Woo, God, we want, we want favor even in our thoughts. What we think about, let there be favor on our thoughts. Woo, let, us, let there be favor on our dreams. Let there be favor, oh God, in our strategies. To, as some of us are working on strategy, let there be favor as we write out the timeline. Hey, favor, 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 favor. favor. Oh, here it is. I just saw this in the spirit. Somebody says, I need favor. I've got to go to therapy today. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Somebody says, this is your, you've never done this before. You've never sat with a, a therapist to tell them all about your problems. This is the first time you've got to tell a complete stranger about what you're dealing with emotionally, what you're dealing with psychologically. Uh, this is new for you. You are in uncharted territory. You are in an area you've never been before, but you're ready to give it all because you want something different for your life. I'm praying favor at your first appointment. Woo, I don't know. I just saw that in the spirit. I just saw somebody, somebody has decided to get therapy. Come on. One, I'm, whoever you are, bro, sis, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud. It's not taboo to go get help. Woo, that makes sense to me and it makes sense to God. Woo, favor for those who have an appointment with a therapist. Yeah, that's a big deal. Mm, huh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm praying for a couple that has decided to finally seek therapy for their marriage right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying favor and that first appointment, oh God. Let there be transparency, but let there be healing, oh God, in this season. Favor, 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 favor. Somebody has a very important appointment today. You're meeting with a client and this meeting with the client could literally, literally catapult your business. It could literally, literally set your business up to be successful and be sustained for an extended period of time. Favor with this. Pre it's a presentation. You're presenting before a new client today. It's a it's a contract that could literally that could literally launch your business into the next level. I'm praying favor for this presentation. I don't know who this is. I just saw it in the spirit. You're presenting in front of people. It's a very important presentation. It's literally, this presentation could literally change things in a good way for you. Whew, it could literally alter your life in a great way. I'm praying favor over this presentation right now in the name of God. Holy Ghost, you're speaking this morning. Wow, these are things I just, I haven't seen you show up, show to me in a while. 
but favor. So somebody's in therapy, you're going to therapy for the first time. I applaud you, but I am asking favor there. Don't let this be the only time. Keep on going. So a presentation, favor over that presentation in front of decision makers, major decision makers today. I, I, whew, what God has given you, what God has given you, it's going to change how we do business. I just see that whoever you are, receive that in the name of Jesus. Favor in that presentation. And God, I'm just praying for every single soul assembled this morning under the sound of my voice. I know I get carried away, but I can't help it because God, you take my breath away. As you give me vision and give me insight, oh God, it just blesses my soul to no end. And I'm like David in those moments. I cannot control the praise that comes up out of me. And so, God, I thank you in advance for those who gather today that have specific needs, those who may may not be able to experience your favor because they're so deep in distress. They're so deep in dire need right now that it's hard for them to even fathom what favor feels like. God, would you lift the heaviness off their shoulders, lift the weight of the world off their back. So God, ha, God, every bent back right now, straighten it out in the name of every bent back. Everybody who's holding on the weight that's too heavy for them. They're carrying the weight of the world and the weight of their family on their shoulders and on their back and their back is bent. Right now in the name of, straighten out their back today in the name of Jesus and take the heaviness off of them right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, remove it right now. The heaviness, woo. Somebody right now, I don't know who you are, but I see that you're carrying the burden, the heavy, the weight, the burden of your family. Huh. You're carrying the weight, the heaviness of your family. You're the only believer in your family, right? You're the only one that's holding. You're the only one that's got true faith in God right now. You, you're praying for people that ain't even praying for themselves right now. Ooh, that's a heavy load. I'm praying. I lift off that heaviness. Lift it off of them, O oh God, and let them feel as light as a feather today in the name of Jesus. And so, God, as I come to a close, I realize that I, in, in my getting carried away, I may have missed or overlooked some prayer requests. But, God, you are omniscient. You know everything. There's no such thing as breaking news when it comes to you. There's no surprise information, God. You know everything. And so, God, since you know everything, I, I, I know this about you. You already know how you're going to respond to everything. And so, God, I'm praying right now that somebody today will literally feel the tangible hands of the invisible God in their lives today. Show up, Lord, and show out in a way that they can only give credit to you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for your presence. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for your yes. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for not just an amen, but for being the amen. The one who settles it and the one whom we believe settles it. In Jesus' name, that's it. Amen, amen, and amen. My God. Listen, I saw some prophetic visions right there. And I don't know if, if, if those things were for people who were on here, but the prophetic thing was working. I, somebody, this is really, it's stuck, it's sticking. It's not moving right from where, where it's at. You have considered, you finally have considered to do something you've never done because you want a life that you've never had. And you've considered to go and see a therapist. I, I applaud you. That was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. If that's you, I'm proud of you. Lean into it, gather from it what you must. But release, leave everything in that office, whoever you are. That's that's I'm proud of you. I'm very, very proud of you. So anyway, I thank you all for joining me today. I pray that this prayer has blessed your life as much as it is, has blessed mine. You have an amazing day. May God bless you. May God keep you. May the glory of heaven shine upon you. I love you all with every fiber of my being and every chamber of my heart. Do God a favor. Do humanity a favor. Make somebody's life better simply because you exist. I'll see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Be safe out there. Bye now.